Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson in which we are going to learn three different swing patterns that will help us improve our uh, swing groove. Okay, so let's start right now with the first one, which will be the most simple one of those three. We will play the classic swing groove on our uh, right symbol, right? Okay, and uh, we will add bass drums on one and three, hi-hat foot pedal on the two and four, and our snare drum also on the two and four. Let's hear how that sounds. Very, very nice. So this is basically simple. If you don't know anything about swing, just keep in mind that we are based on triplets here and we are playing a pattern here which is with quarter notes and uh, triplets but with the middle one uh, from the three of the group of three triplets missing. So it's one, two, three, okay. One two three, 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 one two three. Okay. Very very good. Let's move to the second pattern now. What's the difference between the first and the second? What we just did will be the same instead of the snare drums, right? Simple bass drums and hi hat pedal will be the exact same stuff okay but on our snare drum instead of playing all the down beats two and four we will play one down beat the two and one up beat instead of playing the four we will play the three end now okay so that will sound something like that Very, very, very good. So, the difference that we did here was that we added a upbeat on the snare drum. And why are we doing this? If you think about it, if you hear some uh, uh, of uh, the most uh, popular uh, jazz solos, swing solos that uh, drummers do and some songs, you will notice that in the most difficult stuff, they are doing something like a freestyle drumming on the snare drum. They keeping the uh, string pattern on the ride, okay, and the feet, and they do a freestyle on uh, the snare drum. They uh, most of the time they don't play something fixed on uh, the snare drum, and it's based on the up beats. They are doing something like a snare drum solo on the swing pattern that we, that they are playing and in order to make ourselves familiar in this situation what we are doing is this exercise that i am showing you now these three patterns that we are doing they basically are a big exercise the goal is to play them like a big exercise and um, try to get familiar with the up beats and that's why the third pattern that I am going to show you right now has one down beat and two up beats. This actually lasts for two measures and it sounds something like that. So, as you uh, understood, we added uh, 
one more measure in uh, which we had one up bit and in the end of the measure we have a down bit in order to close the pattern and uh, I also added uh, a little note before the four in order to make it something like a small fill. Okay, this is not necessary for you to do. Uh, if you are a beginner you can't do this fast uh, double stroke there. Uh, if you can, it's a really nice uh, trick, a small fill that you can do. Okay, so the whole method, the whole logic about these three patterns is that we are playing them uh, one after the other for four measures, three measures, it's, it's up to you, whatever you like. But we have to make ourselves familiar and uh, used to play a bit of the snare drums while we are playing stuff on the right symbol. Okay, so we start with the first one, then we are moving in some point to the second one and then to the third one. Let's hear how that sounds. Very, very, very nice. So that was an example of how to use these three patterns in order to train yourself uh, to do some difficult uh, stuff on the swing pattern. After this uh, uh, exercise, after practicing it and getting used to it and learn it well, you can try to uh, get yourself in the freestyle stuff and work a little bit to yourself. Let's check an example of a freestyle uh, snare drum uh, thing when we play the swing patterns. That was a small example of what you can do in uh, the snare drum. A, a really uh, experienced jazz drummer can show you much more. There are plenty of videos out there in YouTube that you can check out. There are some amazing jazz drummers out there that I uh, uh, check out there and I really admire, like Zach Grooves. This guy is a beast. If you don't know him, check, it, check him out. He's amazing. Uh, and he has the chops like, man, he's a beast. So that was the video for today. Hope you found it useful. This is the exercise that we are doing, that I use in order to practice some uh, swing patterns. I'm not a jazz drummer, but uh, I were in a situation that uh, I had to play some uh, jazz songs, not too difficult stuff, but uh, I think that uh, all the drummers out there, no matter what genre are, are we playing, we should have uh, uh, at least uh, some basics on all the genres out there. Rock, funk, jazz, metal, uh, pop, hip-hop, R&B, we must... Um, I don't like the word must, but we have to be able to play at least something so if a gig comes up, we are able to do it and we are not like, yo man, sorry, I can't do uh, this stuff, uh, you have to find someone else. This is the worst thing that you can do in your career. So try to work on these things, even if you are not a jazz drummer, if you are a actively a professional jazz drummer, you might find these things easy. But if you are a beginner or intermediate drummer, these things are the best thing for you in order to practice a little jazz stuff. 
So, thank you so much for watching. Hope I will find you in the next video too. Feel free to comment down below whatever you like. Let me know what jazz grooves you like, what swing patterns you like, what you are doing in order to practice for this stuff and what you want to see in the future video too. Uh, also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notifications because I post a lot of stuff here on YouTube. I post shorts with drum covers, um, small drum lessons, live uh, footage and many many more. So don't forget to subscribe so you can uh, get the notifications for the future videos and uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day!